it soothing to hear man speak to God That's why I listen to Tupac and Nas While driving fast cars or laying in my cell at night I listen carefully, I hear their plight I hear their strife, I hear their life I love music, our communication My salvation is not just me Their battles, this good and bad and me A killer with dreams, a shovel with fiends Jacking their beans There's, There's no, no beans to air, Just murder or war You wanna join the army, what for? There's gangs outside, not eager to recruit to shoot, don't be a target, run and leave it, but I feel like I'm a part of it, like that's my scene and that's my home, like there's the food and there's the chrome, protect it with your life and own the throne, but there's no castle, just a judge and jury to laugh at you, I give you your time to serve, mothers cry but can't find the words, sons race on the curb, Each one teach one, but I'm a bad example Each one teach one, I could've done better I could've done better What I've been doing for the last two years Is travelling around and sharing my story My story is of someone at the age of I don't know, teenage years Got into crime And wanted to be involved in crime I wanted to be um, selling drugs and wanted to be on the road and wanted to be involved in certain things and that road led me to prison I done a 10 year prison sentence so I came out of prison only two years ago and I can feel my heart beating in my chest beating in my chest and the judge says to the juror How do you find the defendant? Defendant, defendant, defendant. And I never heard My mother cry out in pain Until I heard the juror Say guilty A friend of mom's guy not guilty A couple of other guys had already gone guilty So we're in the courtroom and the friend to my right, he gets found not guilty and I'm happy for him. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's not guilty. And I'm hoping that I'm not guilty and I can go home as well. And the judge says no, or the jury says no, you're guilty as well. And that day, they, they carted me off to Wandsworth Prison. And I went into Wandsworth Prison, and Wandsworth Prison is a funny place. You've got a lot of funny characters. Um, but I was emotionally drained. What did you just search man this week? This is some joke As a man I'll never get used to being asked to strip my boxers to my knees and shake them as a man I'll never get used to being woken up abruptly led down to the test in Sweden ordered to pee in a cup Having my freedom taken away. Um, so Chris, could you talk a bit about what life was like in prison to the young people? Because I'm not saying these young people here 
But young people that go to prison or their brethren then go to prison think that prison's an easy ride. So if you could share a bit of those experiences with them. Okay, um, I think that the, the best way I can break down prison is through them poems. So one of the first things about prison is your detachment from your family. So if you have got um, people that you care about, people that you love, um, that hurts to not be around them. It hurts when they come and visit you and they sit and talk with you for an hour and then they go and you go back into your prison cell. That, that kind of affects you in a way. Um, being locked in a room for 23 hours a day where you've got a toilet and you've got a cellmate and when they go to the toilet, there's no barrier so they literally got a toilet next to you and then you bring your food back into that cell it's, it's a very degrading experience that you have no control over. Um, you have officers that can tell you to do what they want, when they want, tell you to strip when they want you to strip, just random things like that. Um, you're around, you can be around some negative people, and it depends on how you do your sentence. Because I've done my sentence on a thing like <coughs> keeping my head down, keep it to myself. I never had no problem, but there are people in prison that that do get victimized, that do get bullied, that, that do have a hard time with it. There are people that can't take being in the cell for that <coughs> sort of time and cut themselves. I know people that was in for, I don't know, a three month sentence and bloodied up their cell because they just couldn't take it. Um, they're screaming at night, people in their cell screaming at night and random fights, rubbish food. Um, physically, you can manage. For me, you can physically manage, but it's just what you're missing. Your life mm. is on pause. So everyone else is getting on with their life, everyone else is having a birthday party and growing, maturing, you're on standstill, your life is on pause, nothing changes okay. other than that same cell day in, day out, day in, day out. So your life is on pause, and so my life was on pause for five years, and I couldn't really proceed other than a little bit of education that I was able to do inside. So for five years, I didn't have a birthday. For five years, I didn't have a Christmas. For five years, the only good thing about the new year was I was one year closer to coming home. And every Christmas I would phone home. And I'd probably phone my grandmas, because that's where everyone would be. Well, my uncles would be there, my nephews would be there, my cousins would be there. And they would be laying out food, and they would be opening up presents under the Christmas tree, and I would, I would hear it, and I would try and be in, involved in it somehow, but I wasn't involved in it. I was apart from it. In there, man, they don't get no birthdays in there. Man, they don't get no Christmas in there. Man, them don't get no New Year's in air, in air, in air, in air, in air. Man, them don't get no birthdays in air. Man, them don't get no Christmas in air. Man, them don't get no New Year's in air, in air, in air, in air, in air. Drama's a daily occurrence. Man threaten man to send man to their parents. Like they know addresses and postal codes. That beats personal, who that beats from road. Who that's some kitty argument, don't bring it to me. HFP would be the long bitch you see, believe me. In air, someone could run in the shook. Maybe they're scared of the hot oil, scared of the drink, cause in air. Man, they don't get no birthdays in air. Man, they don't get no Christmas in air. Man, they don't get no New Year's in air. In air. In there, man, they don't get no birthdays in there. Man, they don't get no Christmas in there. Man, they don't get no New Year's in there. In there, in there, in there. In there. Calls are like a pound a minute So you sneak a tech, no one to visit Or pay a price, is ridiculous But it's worth the full set with your missus When you're handling your biz, you better watch for the cinch In there Wifey pictures stay by my head In there I pray the Lord don't let my people dead In there I think about all my mistakes In there, in there, in there, in there, in there Man, them don't get no birthdays in there Man, them don't get no Christmas in there Man, them don't get no New Year's in there in air, in air, in air, in air Man them don't get no birthdays in air Man them don't get no Christmas in air Man them don't get no New Year's in air In air, in air, in air, in air How did it go wrong? I mean, if you were sick when I asked you earlier if you ever thought you'd up in prison Did you think you were too smart or was it just not on the radar? I mean, how, you know, a little bit of a little bit of too smart. A little bit of it will never happen to me. Um, and a little bit of I don't care. I'm just doing whatever I need to do. And it, it became um, 
a belief necessity like I needed to do this to survive it and once you believe that once you absorb that into your subconscious you will do whatever it takes to, to, to fulfill to fulfill that so if you believe um, I cannot be successful I cannot have a good job I cannot feed myself and my family without committing crime once you accept that as your belief system then you will um, be very vulnerable to that side of life and to that way of living. I was I mean I, I around 15 16 I did have a couple of jobs and became disillusioned with work for some reason um, so around 16 to, to into my 20s I was um, really involved um, and started to make contacts in that type of land. So it was peer, um, peer pressure was it as well? Or? It was more what I wanted to be a part of and what I chose for myself. I made a conscious decision that that's what I wanted for myself and that's the person I wanted to be. Um, the big man. Yeah, yeah and didn't really know any better and didn't really think any better mm. um, until I had some realisations. So the courtroom was a real realisation for me. The, the, the sentence which was a 10 year prison sentence was a real realisation for me. Um, and when I started to look at life as it as it should be and mm. appreciate life as you should do um the things that so i was, was obsessed a long with time, 10 years 10 years yeah yeah it was a long time mm. um see so yeah, i spent five years behind the door mm. from 2004 mm. to 2009. Mm. i mean as a, as a young person you've got to think about your your guardians your carers how it will affect them mm. as an individual you've got to think about your own experience so you will miss these things you will be strip searched whenever they decide um, you will miss out on things so it's yeah i try and give as rounded view of the poems as i can um, so you can go through different angles dedicated to elaine my mom mother like africa the center of my earth you gave me birth eagerly awaited my first words Taught me from the nurse, how did it come to this? The system's got me now, I reminisce On days when I was a little younger I never starved but still had the hunger To be a monster, highly paid Even if it took me to my grave I wouldn't change my ways So they watched my youth fade away He Incarcerated up until today It won't be forever Every time I call she'll feel better Sharing fate with my brother Told my sister I love her How she must wonder How her brothers are so grind down And crying down And forced to take a little time now you have been my best friend My solid rock through thick and thin I know you raised me right Still I chose a life of sin I'm so sorry that I failed I'm you sorry. For wrong things I found pleasure I'm sorry Tell me how in the jewelry we lock me down And the friend to my right He gets found not guilty And I'm happy for him I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's not guilty and I'm hoping that I'm not guilty and I can go home as well. And the judge says no. Or the jury says no, you're guilty as well. Well, I know that night because my mum didn't see. I've got a twin sister. She didn't see. Um, a lot of family members, a lot of friends didn't see. And they were thinking, what's happening to my son? What's happening to my brother? Is he alright? Is he going to make it? You know, what's happening to him? But I sat like a baby. And these people crying themselves to seek more for me. Everything for a reason. 16 more seasons. Balance some good with the bad and make it even. Everything for a reason. 16 more seasons. Balance some good with the bad and make it even. Mother, keep loving your son. I'm doing well. You always knew I would make it. I could tell. You look me in my eyes, ask me what I'm doing now. You heard about the most foul, but I'm still your child. Been through it. I want to enjoy my journey. Communicate my mind through voice delivery. The enraged cage lion still resides in me. Seems I've got nowhere to go. Every tear you cry, it burns me deep inside. Every tear, and I cannot deny, it burns inside. I carry your broken soul and where my heart resides. I carry that with me. It's burning with apologies. I'm sorry. As God is my witness, I've never heard my mother cry out in pain. I've never heard the woman who raised me, looked after me, loved me, cry out in pain. And it was as if I had died. It was as if something catastrophic had, ha had happened. And it was at that moment that I realised that my actions have consequences. It was at that moment that I realised that even if I didn't love myself, there was someone else that loved me. How was your family and everything? Were they supportive or were they quite angry? Um, <laughs> very disappointed, um, very upset. 
but very supportive, um, which is why I'm here today. They, they did support me very well. I stand by me, visit me, um, make sure I had money if I needed money, make sure I had visits. Um, encouraged me and I told them I wanted to work with young people, I told them what I wanted to do with my life. They encouraged me, make sure I had the right books, make sure um, whatever I needed, I had. Um, so that's a great reason why I'm here doing what I do now, I had support. Um, so they were very, very uh, important in my journey. Oh, what's good, man? Did I hear what? 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 Dedicated to my brother Bouncer. Trying to find the words. Trying to find, trying to find. To put on paper. To put on paper. I'm trying to find the thoughts. To put on paper. But. I never cried when Bouncer died. I was too shocked. I never cried when Bouncer died. But I believed it to be true. And when I cried, I cried for selfish reasons. I cried because I pictured me and you in the club. I cried because I pictured your face smiling at mine. I cried cause I pictured your fist Not your mind When I first, when I first cried, cried I cried for selfish reasons Then I cried for your mum Then I cried for your sister Then I cried for your children I cried for your children Your children when Bouncer died, I was too shocked, cause I was too shocked. I never cried when Bouncer died, but I believed it to be true. I believed it to be true. I never cried when Bouncer died, I was too shocked, cause I was too shocked. I never cried when Bouncer died, but I believed it to be true. I did, I did. I know I'm gonna miss them instead oh, My boy's just gone Now my boy just went oh, Went to see the maker My boy's life just spent Chasing the paper But what does it matter now He's chilling with your saviour Listen I got unbreakable faith There's no one that can tell me That my God's not great And it's not a better place off the air I see his face in my mind Then it disappears I picture a beach With a perfect blue sky People hugging one another So why would I cry? I'm sorry for them I feel sorry for myself But I still miss you When on my knees and now I ask the Lord To watch over your spirit And you left some children air So for them I really feel it When I get back to the curb Don't wish nothing, you got my word I'ma watch over them when I get back to the curb yeah. I never cried when Bouncer died I know his spirit lives on, lives on You think prison kind of brought you closer to God and I know it gave you patience because you, know, you got no choice But did it bring you closer to God and like strengthen your faith more? It did in the sense of, I, I've always had that anyway, but because it was such a fast paced life, I didn't spend enough time praying, I didn't spend enough time reflecting. So it gave me a lot of time to give thanks, to reflect, to breathe and, and start again. Yeah, definitely. My name is Lisa Cope, I'm the founder of Mothers Against Guns. I've been campaigning for eight years. I've heard many singers, many artists, some genuine, but some not so genuine. What people do is kind of anti gun music for bucks. I went to Lavender Hill one day and this guy came on and he was introduced to Chris Cyrus. And I heard him, he was a poet. And I was intrigued.
trees. So I came from the back of the podium to the front to see this performance. And he touched my soul. He lifted me up, he gave me hope for the future. He gave me strength. And he made me realise my son didn't die in vain. He kind of He saved the life. And for that reason, I admire him. I have given the page from this organisation. And he can only move forward. And I, he's blessed. He's a blessed guy. And I'm blessed out with him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. That experience, you've done something with and you brought it out with you. And, um, you know, you've got to tell that story. You know, you've got to take those songs out to the projects. You know, those are the songs that will turn people around and make sure that kids like you used to be don't end up where you've been. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Part of my thing is, like I said, it prison stopped me. Mm -hmm. I will say that prison stopped me. Um, part of my thing is, can I plant a seed? Can I say something that would encourage someone else to stop themselves mm -hmm. before they hit death? Before they hit prison, that's part of my motivation to do what I do. That's my motivation for writing the book to try and inspire someone to stop them. I've come across many artists and many singers in my years of campaigning, um, but no just touched my soul in the way this guy here has. Many, many times I've thought and I've read his book. He's honest. He puts the word out positive, and for that reason, solely for that reason, that he's a genuine guy. I, Lucy Cope, have made this guy today the, the patron to Mothers Against Guns. Can you raise some money, please, for Chris Salas? This award comes from the heart of all the mums in the organisation and all the siblings who have lost their kids. We nominate this guy from our hearts and we thank God for him. God bless Chris Salas. I think for me, um, because it was a 10 year prison sentence, mm. it was it was something I didn't want to have to go through again. Because I knew it was going to be so long, I had to make a decision. Is this going to be my life now, where I'm in and out of prison, or I'm going to make a change? It was too long a prison sentence to not change for me. Because I had enough senses in my head to say, this isn't the life for me. I don't want to be in and out of prison the rest of my life. So I had to make a change. I was forced to make a change, or else continue to be in and out of prison. Like some other people that I had already known that were in and out of prison. I thought the middle number was okay because I was listening to those numbers after the first number, which completely blew me away. And I'm going to judge you purely on that because the reverberations of that first number, the emotion, the performance of all of you, and sorry, the guitar is sitting in the background hardly gets noted, so brilliant. As John said, the performance and what you said and your message, and it wasn't trite. I know where it came from. I thought you were extraordinary. The three of you I'm talking about, you have a brilliant act. I'm going to judge you on that first song. I couldn't mark you higher. I thought you were fan. <laughs> Yes. If I could just ask one question, the name. How did you come up with your name? Yes. So Love Life 6958, it was my prison number, LL6958, and it's about turning something negative into something positive. Yes. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. If you could, right now, take that all back, the whole experience, and hold to where you are now, would you? I, I, I wouldn't take my life. I wouldn't take my life. I've, I've learned too much and I've grown too much and I'm too happy now mm. to really want to take away my life. I've got um, my son who's two years of age. I've got my own business. Um, I've got my experience. I've learned. I'm, I'm happy now, so I wouldn't want to take away that away. But at the time, oh yeah. At the time, I would have been anywhere else other than in that prison cell, other than in that courtroom, other than going through that, definitely. But now that it's all passed, um, it's made me who I am. So I wouldn't totally disappear from the frame. But I'm going to open this golden envelope and tell you that the winner of one, two, three testing for 2011, and unfortunately, the last 
One, two, three, testing. Oh. <laughs> it is Love Life! Brilliant. Come on, give them another hand. So look out for it, look me up, holler, thank you. Today's event was very powerful in terms of the message that Chris sent over to the young people because where Chris has been there, done it, lived it, breathed it, it is so much more effective. Even though young people when they come to these kind of events look like they might not be listening at times but they always take something away from these kind of events. Do you feel that um, the kids engaged? I'll, I'll give you the feedback later on because what I do is next week I say how did you find Chris and they go oh yeah 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 Sh do I, shall I bring him back and they go yeah bring back Chris when we've done the series of workshops I'll ask them who, who did you like who did that and then you'll, you'll gauge it then and I can tell that he's going to be someone that they're going to want to come back because he's keeping it real and they can relate to it.